Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I am so, so super excited because today, actually yesterday on December 20, 2021, Zoom finally fixed something that I wanted to happen for the last year and a little bit since they introduced the self-selected breakout rooms in September 2020. So here is the amazing new update. Uh, and I'll go into a couple other features that have just been released after that. So when we are creating breakout rooms, I'll just set up a couple. You can now see something that happens once I click open. Um, let's open the rooms. And now I don't know how well you've used breakout rooms, but if you can see what is the difference, let me zoom in here a little bit. Um, if you can see, we now have a join button. Yes, and this actually shows up for all of the participants as well. If they can select their own breakout room, you now can see by the number and the little person icon how many people are in a room. You can see who's in the room and you can simply click the join button to enter the breakout rooms. So I am super, super excited because that will make it so much easier for participants to find their own room if you're doing things like unconferences, bar camps, open spaces. And uh, I just can't wait to try this out at my next event, actually in two days. So I will let you know how it goes. But let's have a quick look. Um, this is a new Zoom update, uh, version 5.9, that has just been released yesterday. And um, let's have a quick look at what are some of the new features that are coming out. But also, um, if you want to stay up to date on all of these new Zoom updates, want to know how to use them in facilitating and leading groups, um, please make sure you're subscribed. And um, yeah, notification bell. So you get notified whenever there's a new Zoom update, I will create a new video. Okay. So here are some of the things that I was really excited about and that I want to show you today. Uh, by the way, if you go to Google and type in release notes for Zoom, you will find this page that also shows you all the new things that have been added. But there's just a few things that I want to look at. Like, for example, this one, custom gallery view order. Um, you were able to do this for a while, and I'll actually show you how this works in this video today that you can move the gallery view around and then have all of the participants see the same thing as you, the host. But now you can even save that to a meeting ID. So if you're hosting the same meeting with the same people every week, you can actually save the order that you set. Um, the other thing that I was hoping to talk about was scheduling meetings with focus mode. Unfortunately, I was not able to figure this out yet. So that this might become a different video once that is enabled. I think Zoom hasn't added that feature yet. And then there was something that was in here that they actually removed. And that was about breakout rooms. And I was really, really excited to talk about this, um, where you can create, remove, and rename breakout rooms after you've ever already opened them. This is not working for me yet. And since yesterday, when I scheduled this live uh, live stream, they've actually removed it from the feature. So I assume they're working on this and it'll be coming in a new update. Um, and let's start with one thing that also has been added just recently and I have not yet shared with a lot of you. Um, let me jump into just opening the Zoom app. If you have updated Zoom, you know that there's different places yet that you can go to update your Zoom app. Um, you can click the little gear icon up there to get to your settings. Uh, you can, hold on, if you click your little icon here, that's where you can check for updates. But if you click that settings icon, there's one new feature, one new thing that they've also added. Let me also see if I can zoom in a little bit here. And this one is, automatically keep Zoom desktop client up to date. So you can now turn that on, which means whenever there's a new update, it will automatically prompt you to update before you join a meeting when you launch Zoom. And there's two different options. Uh, you can click slow or you can click fast. And fast means you're going to try out the newest features. 
Um, so whenever there is a new update, like there was one yesterday, it will automatically update. Uh, if you choose slow, which is probably the one I would recommend if you are not uh, wanting to use the newest, newest features, because sometimes when they introduce something new, things get a little bit unstable and um, it might not work as smoothly. So you can choose which one you prefer and that way you can make sure that you're always on the newest version. Now, um, let's talk about the first of the two features, which is custom gallery view order. And for this, uh, let's jump into this view. I have logged in with two other devices. I have my phone right here. I have my um, MacBook over here. And then I have myself, which is the one with the name right next to me over here. So if you're the host and you're in gallery view, did you know that if you just click and drag, you can move the order around, which is great for a couple of reasons. Uh, let's say you're doing introductions and you want to make sure that everybody um, knows when it's their turn rather than doing a random order. You could just say, let's start at the top left. We'll end at the bottom right and we'll go row by row and people will be able to see when it's their turn. Now, when you are moving the order around, that doesn't change anything yet on the other people's um, screens. So what you need to do is click the view button up here. Again, let me see if I can uh, zoom in here for a second. Hold on, I need to find the right button. There we go. So if you click the view button and once you have moved at least one window around, you will be able to see follow hosts video order. If I click this, now all the participants will see the same order as it is on my screen with the phone on the top left and my MacBook on the bottom right. Um, and if I want to remove that again, I, whoops, wrong button. I will just click that, um, that view button again and I can release video order. And now it just snaps back to the way it was before. Now the new feature that they've introduced is something that they call uh, saving this custom order to a meeting ID. So let's say you're using your personal meeting ID or you have a reoccurring meeting set up with your team and you meet every week and you wanna make sure that every week it is the same order. Like maybe you put yourself on the top uh, right uh, or at the bottom left, wherever you want to put it, that same order gets saved. And to do this, I tried to figure this out this morning. Um, Zoom has actually created a little guide and I'll share that link to this guide in the chat, uh, in the uh, comments below. But basically they say, um, it only works if you are on a desktop or if you are on the iPad app right now, because that's where usually you would have a gallery view on mobile phones. You don't have enough room for a gallery view. Um, they go how to reorganize it and then how to enable that you can even save gallery view. So there are some settings in, that you need to enable in your Zoom website settings, um, either on your account, the group or on the use, individual user accounts. When I tried to do this just this morning before recording this video, I could not find that setting yet. So again, because this is a pretty new feature, I assume that Zoom is still updating the settings page. Maybe I need to do a refresh, but there are instructions already up on how to enable it. Um, there basically is a safe gallery view toggle that you can enable. And once you have that enabled, there should be a safe video order on the top uh, right view button. So I'll jump back into my Zoom meeting. Um, so up here in this view button, once you move something around, you now have follow host video order and then there should be one that says save uh, video order, custom video order. And that way, whenever you launch the same meeting with the same meeting ID again, it will automatically arrange everyone in the same way. So. 
That's the first of the two features that I want to share with you today. And the second one is the one that I'm more excited about, which is this super exciting breakout room update. Um, like I said in the beginning, there's still something that they promised to uh, include into this version 5.9 um, yesterday, but did not add. So I assume that this will be coming in the next few weeks. But basically, uh, I'll show you again, when you're creating breakout rooms, um, and you were always able to rename your rooms, you were able to add new rooms before you click this big blue button at the bottom that says open all rooms. Supposedly, in this new update, you will be able to do this even once people, once participants have already been added to the rooms. So I'm going to open this right now. And let's just zoom in to this view again. And this is the part that I'm so excited about. So you can see we have this little person icon that shows you how many people are in the room and this big blue join button. Um, up until recently, here is what I usually did when, um, when I had self-selected breakout rooms. I actually created these awesome slides where I said, OK, first of all, once I click the button, um, you will see on the bottom of your screen the breakout rooms button. And once you click that, then you will find this. And as you can see, the mouse needs to hover over that number to reveal the join button. And I even went so far as going in a little closer. And once you click the join button, then you have to confirm yes, and it will take you to the room. So for the last year and a little bit, I actually went through this little demo every single time when we use self-selected breakout rooms, meaning when participants can choose their own rooms. Now, finally, this is not going to be necessary anymore because now we have these fun big blue join buttons, and it should be way easier for participants to move around because uh, I think this was actually one of the biggest obstacles in having to troubleshoot participants not being able to join a room is because they just couldn't find that join button. So thank you, Zoom, for finally adding that. Um, that is one, one big improvement that I'm very excited about and I'm very excited to try out very soon. Um, and especially if you are doing on conferences, bar camps, open space technology, like any activity where participants, again, move around breakout rooms, they join one room for one session, maybe they want to switch it up, go to a different session, and they pick a different room, this will be super helpful. Now, the important thing is, every participant needs to be on the newest version of Zoom. So if they're not updated since December 20, 2021, they will not be able to see the join button. It will still be the old, the previous view. So I will still be doing these demos because um, I can't guarantee that everybody has the newest version. But hopefully soon, people will update. And if you haven't updated yet, this might be a good reminder to make sure you update your Zoom. Uh, and while you're at it, make sure you subscribe to this channel because I love sharing these tips on how to use Zoom better, how to create more meaningful group experiences in the virtual space. Um, I actually have been creating a whole online course called the Zoom Keepers um, for anyone who is interested in getting all of the tutorials, not just the ones that I post to YouTube, but everything from how to create breakout rooms as the host, how to uh, join breakout rooms, how to explain breakout rooms to your participants. All of that is in this course. And again, I'll post a link below. And hopefully, I might see some of you in there. All right. I'm curious. I showed you two features, the custom gallery view order and um, breakout rooms, hopefully with more updates coming soon. But I'm curious, for the custom gallery view order, if you're watching this, let me know in the comments, what would you use this for? One example I gave in the beginning is introductions. Um, another one is if you're doing any types of activities that are happening in gallery view um, that might include maybe passing different objects from one screen to the other, now we could do that if it is high-fiving the person next to you because we are actually on the same side and we see each other on the same side, we can do those now. Um, what are some other ways we could use this? Let me know in the comments below and I will see you very soon. Bye.